The iPhone 15 series will replace the proprietary lightning port that has been used since the 2012 release of the iPhone 5 in favor of USB-C in less than a week and a half. This change is made possible by the EU's desire to have a common charger for its electronic devices. The EU anticipates that the shift would result in less electronic waste and will make consumer items that utilize USB-C more convenient. Apple was obliged to make the shift since it would have been more expensive to only provide USB-C powered iPhone models in the EU and continue using lightning connections everywhere else. Due to the modification, Apple will no longer get all of the money accessory companies paid Apple to develop MFI, made for iPhone, approved cords. Apple is impacted by the switch to USB-C in other ways as well, as Mark German of Bloomberg pointed out in today's Power on email. On September 12th, Apple will presumably extol the virtues of switching to USB-C for the iPhone. Apple had to spend money to upgrade the iPhone's charging port. The tech giant is concerned that because both iPhone and Android phones utilize the same charger, it will be somewhat simpler for iPhone customers to convert to the Android ecosystem since Android phones use USB-C for charging and data transmission. Although doing so may be overthinking the situation, Apple does it. The main concern for customers is Apple's gaslighting. Apple first attempted to challenge the EU's decision by arguing that the switch to USB-C would result in the dumping of lightning cables and landfills. However, the business is obligated to present the shift in a good light. Additionally, Greg Joswiak, the head of marketing at Apple, said last year that it may be detrimental to enable governments to have a voice in product creation. However, German notes that anytime Apple changes a product's design or releases a brand new one, it wants to operate from a position of strength. Apple will thus solely highlight the benefits of the shift, emphasizing how much more compatible the iPhone will be with other devices and how converting to USB-C will prevent electrical trash from polluting the environment.